Once upon a time in a small, peaceful village nestled between rolling hills, there lived a wise old woman named Eliza. She was known far and wide for her profound wisdom and serene demeanor. Eliza possessed a secret, one that had helped her maintain her inner peace amidst the chaos of the world. One sunny morning, a young traveler named Lucas arrived in the village. He had heard tales of Eliza's wisdom and sought her counsel. Lucas was troubled by the behavior of others, constantly letting their actions and words disrupt his inner peace. He hoped that Eliza could offer him guidance. Eliza welcomed Lucas into her cozy cottage and listened patiently as he poured out his heart. He spoke of how he felt hurt and frustrated by the unkindness and negativity he encountered in the world. He explained how the behavior of others seemed to have the power to shatter his inner peace. Eliza smiled kindly and gestured for Lucas to join her by the window, where a pot of tea was brewing. As they sipped their tea, she began to share her secret. Lucas, Eliza began, imagine your inner peace as a fragile crystal vase. It is beautiful and precious, but it is also delicate. When we allow the behavior of others to affect us, it's like handing them a hammer and asking them to shatter our vase. But you don't have to do that. Lucas looked puzzled but intrigued. Eliza continued, you see, people's actions and words often reflect their own inner turmoil and struggles. They may be carrying a heavy burden or be in pain themselves. When they lash out or behave unkindly, it's a cry for help from their own wounded hearts. She pointed to a tree outside the window. Imagine that tree represents your inner peace. No matter how strong the wind blows or how loudly the storm rages, the tree stands tall and unshaken. It doesn't let the behavior of the wind disturb its roots or sway it from its true nature. Lucas nodded, beginning to understand. Eliza concluded, Lucas, do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. Instead, use it as an opportunity to practice compassion and understanding. When someone treats you poorly, remember that their actions are a reflection of their own inner state. Let your inner peace be like that tree, deeply rooted and unshaken by the storms of the world. By doing so, you not only preserve your own serenity but also inspire others to find their inner peace. Lucas left Eliza's cottage that day with a newfound perspective. He realized that his inner peace was a precious gift, one that he could protect and nurture, no matter the behavior of those around him. As he journeyed through life, he carried Eliza's wisdom with him, a reminder to always choose inner peace over allowing the actions of others to destroy it.